and welcome to the Animag Podcast. Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to Animag, the number one anime podcast on the planet, baby. I'm your host, Asylum, sitting here with... Domicus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the time has come, ladies and gentlemen. The big reveal of what Rena girlfriend uh, ended up getting um, from Annie Mag. Ready and ready and boys. I thought I was about to leave at like episode four every year. I'm not gonna lie. What you talking about? You gave episode four a ten. No, I gave episode that was three. Three at times. Three. <laughs> three. Like, you already messed it up. This man's already messed it up. <laughs> I got it in the notes. I made sure to write that down. Dude. So in the past when we've done these reviews, uh We've kind of gone off trail, so I plotted out a new course for how we do this. I got pretty much seasonal notes, but just like really and truly the highlight of that particular episode, so that way we could stay on track. If you're coming here from the website, you already know what the fuck we gave it because you can see the little star rating up top, but stay tuned to the end to find out. Just know we have to round up for this one because we don't do the points. The official score was a point something, but we have to round it up, so... What a season it was, you guys. Thank God. It's uh, over. I'm not I'm not gonna lie, as much as I love this show, I'm really glad that it's over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Don't play that card, you fuck Jesus. Because almost every episode when I try to tell y'all certain shit was pointless. No, 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 it was good. It was good. I mean everything because you were looking at just the that moment versus like the big picture, the overall oh, picture. Yes, I was. When it came it came down to everything really having like a purpose, but the way that they did it, the purposes were so fucking minute, it didn't really fucking matter. What I've been trying to tell you this whole time. Like it all boiled down to I guess their goal. But they did it so slow and so small. After episode three, it fucking dropped. Because I'm not going to lie, from one to three, we were on an uphill climb. I was pretty excited for this. I'm like, damn, this is going to be a good ass fucking season. And then episode four hits. Pretty much backed up when mommy came back. (laughs) So look, I'm just going to I'm just going to go from the top. All right, let's talk about dive right in. Go on. on episode one. Episode one, baby. Go on day one. Mini enters, okay? Thought she was going to be a bitch because she's yelling at him from the balcony. Turns out she's actually pretty fucking chill. All she right? She was the MVP of this season. She came in clutch. Lots of bath and shower scenes in the first half of this season. But I noticed that they kind of slacked off towards the back end. So that was nice to see. Maybe our Arthur here is starting to kind of mature a little bit and... uh Give up on the bath scenes. I mean, this season was the most we ever got of bath scenes. No, I think it was season two. No, season two, we only got like two. Season, no, season two, they had a Chizuru shower scene in almost mm-hmm. every episode. No, no. Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, especially towards no. the end. They had at least no. five, because I remember we counted it. And no. in this one, they had two for chi- three for Chizuru if you count the bath scenes. One for Sumi and Kazuya had a couple. Yeah, which is more than fucking season two. Yeah, but if it's all cheese room, I'm talking like split out. We see mommy in the Damn first right. episode, okay? Where's and then her we won't... shower scene? Where's her shower scene? <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> never gets one. I mean, Ruka never it's got common. one. It's common. Hey, we saw Ruka in her bathing suit at the little like pool place. Okay, we saw mommy bathing. at the beach. We saw mommy <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> So we see mommy in episode one really and truly won't see her much until the very end. And then it's like episode two, Ruka gets involved with the project. Okay. This is going to be a fucking smash. Uh, New girl. Episode one, no. Episode one was supposed to be a prediction of us seeing what's going to happen with mommy, but we didn't get nothing. We got just a new character of mini. What did they show of mommy in episode one? Just, just heard this. Looking at uh, it was in the class, huh? Yeah, she was looking okay, at the fucking so. uh, cause your friends talking to each other. She just <laughs> looking. Episode one should have opened with her continuing with following the uh, grandma to see what the fuck was going on, and then change the fucking cheese route. Not in uh, Kazuya. Yeah. Again, like as much useless shit as this show puts into it, I just don't think we need it. All that. Uh, her trying to riz up the grandma. Hey, you look sexy for your age. We don't need to see all that. 
We just need to know that she followed the page. And it's like, what? And then now we know she followed the page and did that work while we were fucking watching. Oh, I want to see that work. What's the point of uh, seeing work if you don't see progress? Uh, You're going to probably see progress in the next no, fuck no. seasons. It's going to be a flashback. This show does not do that. This show does not do that. I'm, no. I'm starting to think, especially considering the fact that like <laughs> all three seasons have literally ended with mommy being the last person they show. That's wild to me. She's the best. <laughs> and then, the reason why Look. I feel like they're not going to give a flashback for what mommy did is because the most we get flashbacks is from Cheezer and Kazuya. That's it. Yeah, because the show's flashback. about Cheezer and Kazuya. Which is no literally getting gives, stale. It's no one gives a fuck stale. about Ruka. No one gives a fuck about mommy, Minnie. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Bro, who even gives a fuck about Cheezer after this season? Nobody. At this point, I'm a Kazuya fan. So look, episode two. You see, you see how this turned to crickets? It went to crickets when you said that? Episode two, smashing. My boy Kazuya got pulled deep into Minnie's house in her apartment. Remember when it looked like she wanted to fuck him? <sighs> that was exciting. I thought some shit was about to pop off right there. We ended up learning that she's famous online. And then she decides to try and help Kazuya and Chizuru get together. So she was getting ready to put in the fucking work and become the real MVP of this season. All right. Episode three, Mini joins the fucking movie project and starts to help. Big one right here, boys. Sumi shower scene. That was important. Uh, and then Sumi helps pass out flyers. So get a little CD there where she's starting to break out of her fucking shell. Then we get a massive scene at the end. Okay. This was the episode three. This is where Yeze smashed it with a 10, but we all kind of gave it some pretty high ratings. That massive scene at the very end between Minnie and Chizuru, when Minnie told Chizuru that Kazuya ends up, like, he's in love with her. <sighs> really fucking sad that they didn't fluff that out as well as they could in the next episode. They've dropped the ball on that. Now that I'm thinking about it after watching the rest of this season, it just made that scene just fucking just pointless. That's what I'm saying. They mm -hmm. literally could have went from that scene and exploded this fucking season. Could have been a great season, but we got a roller coaster up to three. We got a little, actually, we get a roller coaster up, we get a fucking dip, and then we just get a plateau, and that's it. Oh, no, it isn't a plateau. It, it's, it's on a zigzag, but it's zigzag down. Because, like, there's, there's a couple of other major parts to the story, but as far as this particular scene goes, yeah, they fucked that really bad. So, like I said, episode four, okay, flops on the fucking opening where we left off in episode three. All right. Shizuru gives no real emotion to what she was just told, and the show just fucking goes downhill from here. We do see in episode four, though, that Shizuru still has the ring that Kazuya ends up giving her. That was his grandma's. Mm -hmm. And it, like, thinking about it now, knowing what the whole season is, it pisses me off. Ain't, num ain't number four was when, um, was she one that did with that other dude? Uh, yes. So when she went see the play with old boy. So he could retweet their project for the crowdfunding thing. And they had that massive scene where they were standing in the alleyway and mm -hmm. she ends up turning him down so she could go help pass out flyers for the project. But also, again, like they dropped the ball here because like he asks Chizuru if, if she's in love with Kazuya mm -hmm. or has any type of feelings for him. And, and she's like, look, I don't like him, but I also don't not like him. <sighs> The writers for this fucking season, like, set themselves up to give us just just a small nut. All we needed was a small nut, baby, and they didn't give us nothing. Mm -hmm. A small nut? That was dry. Oh, <laughs> super dry nut. <laughs> and in episode four, we the movie actually ends up getting funded with a little money to spare. So now we know the fucking movie's going to happen. All right. Episode five, pretty much just them shooting the movie. Nothing special in this episode except for Kazuya. Actually, falling. to be honest, the rest of the fucking episodes doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, not really. Kazuya almost falls off the bridge and dies while filming in five. Yeah, him not being director when he is the director. Pretty much just cleaning, being a cleaning crew and shit. He tells Chizuru like he's going to be upset about the fact that she's going to blow up from this and leave him in the dust. And she's like, no way. I mean, that's what really uh, happened. That's really and, oh, and then like the thing that Mini set up steamrolled in episode five where him and Chizuru were going to have to shoot the final scene alone. Mm -hmm. All right. Episode six, final scene was shot. They were alone together. We thought Chizuru was going to tell him something special right here, but she just thanks him for shooting the fucking movie. 
Oh, and she then she, she she sleeps on his shoulder on the train ride home. Progress. Progress. A little bit of progress. I'm talking like... All I gotta say uh, is three years. At a snail's pace kind of progress. All I gotta say is three years. Minnie catches them at the end, being alone together. I mean... Whoa, no, whoa, wow. whoa. Why did I write Minnie? Hang on, let me change this. Whoa, Ruka catches right. them in the act. Yeah. And then Ruka. she started blowing up on these bitches. And she was Ruka. like, was y'all fucking in that apartment? And you know, Kazuya tripping balls while, while Tijo just says, hmm. Just walked away. She threw just leaves to go take a piss. <laughs> and then Ruka at the end of the episode was like, hey, my birthday coming up. I want you to promise me you'll do whatever I want. Cut scene episode what? Six? Episode Ep- six. Going in the, yeah, going in the seven. Literally pretty much just Kazuya and Ruka at the pool all day. Uh, light turning point for Ruka here because she starts to show a little maturity when they were sitting at the beach. Yes, looking sir. At the ocean. Yes, sir. Uh, winds up dropping the cun from Kazuya's name, just calling him straight up Kazuya now. Pretty much it. Come on. This yes, one's for man. this one's for Yeze episode And don't forget, eight. don't forget. No, you forgot when Chizu went to the grandma and uh, explaining each other's feelings, I think it was. I mean, yeah, but that's still just all cock tea shit. It's not really that important. Bro, Bro y'all, no, no. When we was on that episode, y'all was like, oh, that's important. That's important. I mean, it's important to a certain standard, but looking at the whole thing, having watched the whole season, they dropped the ball on it. In the moment when you don't know what the rest of the fucking season's going to be, it's important. Hey, I knew it was When the be. writers fail you as the knew, viewer, now it's not knew, that important. I knew what it was going to be because if the writers going to fail multiple times, they're going to do it again. So I know. They, I guess they, in a sense, they do kind of wind up bringing that back without ever like saying it because when she's talking to their pictures, you know, later on in the season, she's like, oh man, I think it's because she's remembering that moment where the grandma was like, look, if you're having fun talking about him, that's your guy. Look, (laughs) episode, episode eight, get ready for this. Granny falls out of her chair. The movies. Come on. Big dubs, big dubs, <laughs> big Fortnite dubs. <laughs> Starts the downfall of that train. Uh, Kazuya runs off at the end to try to throw a hail mary for Chizuru's grandma to even see the movie before she passes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Episode nine, Kazuya gets his mobile set up so the grandma can actually see some of the movie. Let's go. Here we go, boys. Granny dies. Chizuru showing a bunch of fake emotions here. Episode ten, Kazuya hey. and Sumi go on a hey. date for the day. The grandma got sent to the gulag. <laughs> episode 10 had the weird ass finger game on the train we got to hear our boy Kazuya moan oh that was pretty God. good pretty important pretty, pretty important very episode yeah. 11 big for big one for Yeze Kazuya rinse Chizuru let's go come on it's a pretty planned out date come uh, on she, she has fun but she's still guarding a fuck ton of emotion has fun but also act at the same time because she's a rental let's go mm-hmm. professional on. Let's go. Uh, up I until the very show. end. I love this show. The sparklers break her down at the end. And then well, episode no, 12. No, it was the smoke in her eyes. It was the smoke in her eyes. I'm telling you. It was the smoke in her eyes. Stop that. Hey, ever since I heard Kazuya say, man, what if those tears were fake? Like, I can't get that out of my head. Like, oh. what if she was fucking acting? Honestly, bro, at this point, she don't deserve shit. I, and I have after, look, we're on, let me just finish this. Episode 12, all right. She finally shows him some kind of fucking emotions, cries on him, you know, that whole scene, but quickly after goes back to just guarding her fucking emotions. Big moment, big Um, moment. (laughs) The movie gets premiered, so that's that's a thing. We waited. They filmed it, then we almost kind of forgot about it with the grandma. Don't forget, don't forget. Dying. Even, don't forget, when Chizu was still being still, Kaju says he's going to do whatever he can to make her smile. (sighs) Don't forget that. Big moment, big moment. I mean, she... (sighs) At the end of episode 12, she kind of does realize he went above and beyond for her Mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. multiple levels for the fucking movie project. Mm -hmm. So maybe Mm -hmm. that'll come back into play later. And at the end, we see mommy. You know how many times we said that? It never happened? Just keep it going. That's true. Keep it going. At the very end, we see mommy, who's now apparently an advisor for Kazuya's family business. And that's season three, boys and girls. (laughs) Oh, yeah. I love this show, bro. I'm about to go jump off a fucking bridge. So I tallied up all of our ratings for each episode, boys. It's a seven. The show came in. This is the official rating, but we had to round it up. So it came in at a 5.6. So we rounded up to a six. It should have been a fucking five. It literally should have been five. Realistically, it barely made it. 
as a six. Like by the skin of its fucking teeth, it got rounded up. It should have been a little bit above me. (laughs) So a six, and that's. I feel like that's an accurate rating compared to some of the other places I've seen give out ratings for it because they're they're doing out of fives and they're doing like four point fives out of fives. And that's unrealistic for season three. If you if they put a four point five out of five, I'm telling you, boys dude, love stale shit. They love go stale go look number one. Go look on Crunchyroll. Four point five out of five. I feel like we have the most accurate rating for the season in the game right now. A six. They, they ain't in my community. They ain't my community. And then yeah. I saw some fuck nut. Uh, was it on Reddit? Maybe. Uh, pretty much spoil it for me. So now I know how it all goes down between Kazuya and Shizuru. I don't know, like, Yo! I don't know, like, the nitty gritties, but I know, like, they, they, all they said was it drags ass for, like, another fucking 200 chapters. It's just going to be this big cock tease. And then finally, I'm not going to spoil it for everyone else, but some shit goes down. And then she realizes all along that it was him. Yo! Oh my god, another two years. Another two yeah. years. So ready. you got another I'm 200 ready. chapters until some shit actually. I'm ready. Out of five years. <laughs> what is I'm that? Ready. Season six it'll put us on? Season twin. Season no, ten. It's six. It's six. It's six. It's so six. we're on three, four, five, six, seven. Huh? Wait, it's wait, it's a, wait, 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 wait. Question, question, question. Is it the next 200 episodes or exactly 200 chapters? Well, he, he said it's past the next 200 chapters. So I don't even know how many passed that. So we have at least 200. That's, 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 that's is that the end of five or beginning of six? Oh my God. Uh, for the only, books? Because, um, for it's the chapter. For the, that's definitely not for the books because. Because chap, the chapter we ended on, on season three is like 165. Yeah, that's oh, a so total that's, of 300 chapters. Okay, so it's within the last 100. Because I don't think it's... Is it finished? No, it's ongoing. Okay. (laughs) It's got to be close to being done, though. There's no way. I don't know, boys. chapters. That's what it got from us. The six. Let's go! And I'm I'm, I'm pleased with it. I'm proud of all of us. I'm not pleased with it. It should be lower. Uh, It realistically, like, should have been a five. But I'll live with it. It's just... It's our shitty rule that we have to round it up because we don't do points. But if you're hearing this, just know, realistically, it was a 5.6. It could have been a 10. Could have been a 10. But... Hey, honestly, but, it could have been a 10 if the fucking writers wouldn't have dropped the ball. At this right. point, like, as a podcast reviewist, I'm too invested to not finish reviewing every season they put out. But I kind of just want to fucking read it and just know what happens. <laughs> I can't... Don't trust me. I can't take another season of fluff i can't take Super another speed. six seasons of fucking fluff if this wasn't if it, if it wasn't for this podcast i would never continue off after two after season two hey i'm just gonna say it right here right now boys i'm gonna beg netflix for a live action rent a girlfriend baby they'd probably do it better <laughs> they would do it better because think about this think about the one piece not to trail off too hard but think about how much they crammed because I heard that the live action of One Piece branches into the chapter 100s. So they put a lot into this that one show, that one season. So they could definitely fucking do Rent a Girlfriend in one season. <laughs> the whole 300 chapters. Take out all the fluff. Only utilize the important shit. Damn. That's what I would do. Get excited, boys. Our job here is done. Now it's time to take a break and then come back on some Rascal. 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, I already. We're actually doing Rascal again because there is a rating for it already on the site because I did it solo. This was before the podcast even existed. I wrote it out. So now we're coming in. We're putting Yeze on something tasty, ladies and gentlemen. I saw that they actually making us English dub cast. I saw that too. Very fucking excited about that. I <laughs> wish we had a time frame on that because then we could just wait for that. But I mean, whatever. We'll just fucking boys. That's what up. All right, and <sighs> we're not we're not doing the rascal. We happen on you, Haka Show. We're definitely not. Boy, no scratch, no scratch. That we're going to Evangeline. You don't even know where to start. Hey, if we're going I, on I, anything, I tell me, I know when to start. We're going on fate. The entirety of it. 
from start to finish, baby, in chronological light order. novels, games, games, you name it. We're doing it all. Because <laughs> uh, I tried to get in Evangeline, but see, it was like, oh, you gotta watch this, 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 and I was like, oh, fuck that. Sid I'm doesn't know what he's talking that. about. Sid doesn't know. What he's I talking think about. you don't know what the fuck you're talking Sid, about. Sid, Sid would tell you go read a box of rocks in your pub. <laughs> hey, we pull Sid on this podcast. I guarantee you, we're getting ten million views. <sighs> I don't know. We there's really not much left to say about this there's, season. There's just, plenty just much done. to say. There's pretty much to say. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mute this guy. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> I just expected more. And I know that's foolish of me to expect that much from a girlfriend. What? It's just I'm basically just saying he's disappointed. Honestly. Yeah, I'm I'm lightly disappointed. I just it's I'm disappointed. Thomas is disappointed. I don't even give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he don't even care about the podcast, man. Just that man on. said, "Oops." That man said he's ready to rate the eighty six. Oh, 86, 10 out of ten. That's a great fucking show. That's a that's a three out of ten. But this man don't know. I actually saw the mangas. I didn't know they had a manga for it. And I was going to get one and uh, throw it on the shelf, but I changed my mind, boys. I got to save up for the big cons. But to uh, review and read after school, Bitchcraft. Uh, we're off on that. You have to do that one solo, man. If I'm doing something solo, I'm going on Panty Note. I want to do Panty Note. What the fuck? Oh, you're, you're, no, you're a side character. I'm that, ain't down, ain't I'm I the person that found Panty Note? You did. You did. I mean, I'm pretty I mean, sure I did. Hey, but I'm going to be the one to review it by myself, so get ready for that. Hey, you can review it. I don't know how you're going to get it up on Animag. <laughs> hey, 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 if one person can hack Animag, I can do it. <laughs> They didn't hack with any <laughs> That is that is true. We went a whole season. We had some hiccups with the site during the season, but we've had it worse during other seasons. We had a situation, I think it might have been during Orange, <laughs> where the whole site went down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the episodes was going to Spotify, thankfully, but the the site was dead. Hey, with all that being said though, by the time we come back, hopefully Annie Mag will have a fresh new look. So yeah. By the time we're on Rascal, or or we see Yeze actually doing Panty Note. Trust me, I can do Panty Note by myself. I might be a little jerk off, sis, but... <laughs> this man's gonna stop and jerk off. Hey. He's not in tie, in tie with the bros. Bro, it's gonna be the same rules. If you jerk off, you gay, because he's watching a dude jerk off while you jerk off. Mm. That's the oh, shit. I just realized something, too. This is the end of our first visual season ever mm-hmm. oh yeah history, by the way boys. big history i'm the one that made them do visual that is true because if, if zay wouldn't have really pushed for it it would have just been audio because i was not prepared to start visuals when we started this season this is like a quick throw together oh, i had to, I had to <laughs> be the manager of the of any man and be like man if I come with a big comeback after a long ass break you might as well come back with a banger a visual that is true it was it was a pretty long break because it was changed. Bro, y'all, and y'all stopped in like November and then uh, Run a Girlfriend started in <laughs> fucking July. Yeah, we had to prepare, mentally prepare for Run a Girlfriend. You can't be letting Chainsaw Man cloud your thoughts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, anyways. All right, make sure you like, subscribe. <laughs> Look, we hope you guys enjoyed. It's been. Don't forget the, uh, the new. I the wish a sponsor. Oh, we do have a new sponsor. I oh, wish look, I could say that this in. season was fun for me, but it wasn't. It was a hassle, and the season wasn't even that great. Can't wait for the live action Netflix. Live up. action Netflix, <laughs> Rent a Girlfriend, and and I don't give a fuck. Y'all need to get Emily Rudd in every live action, okay? Not because I have a crush on her, because she's a great actress. Bro, I like okay? you just mentioned about having crushes, so they're going to assume that you do have a crush. I do. That's the joke. <laughs> I have a fat boner for Emily Rudd, bro. Don't be saying that. Oh, it's too much. Too, <laughs> much. Yeah, it's too, it's too much. much. Too much. It's too okay. Much. Well, I mean, whatever. She's still a great actress, so Could they they pick the perfect person for Nami. Mm-hmm. And look, next time you see us, it'll be all one thousand episodes of One Piece released at once. No weeklies. We're just dropping the full one thousand episodes. Bro, you know how long it's going to take to upload at one time? Bro, Thomas is an exclusive. Nick are already almost done, okay? Nick almost told me they're on episode done. 800. 
Fuck no, I wish. <laughs> but seriously, that is coming, so that's on them. I don't want to touch that. And then me and it's all doing DBT Kai. Get ready Gotta for that. Gotta start doing Kai. Oh, I really am not looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. Got to. Hey, y'all hating, but we the reason why Sean is even popular at this point. Literally. I don't I don't see why. Well, shitty I've, shitty like, voice acting, shitty graphics, the color palettes are really, okay. we had the best graphics back in the eighties. Stop. Stop. Literally. Really Stop. We was on we was on the no, we was on the cover for how's Shonen the best, Jump how's the best graphics. They're just fucking thick black lines. No. If I put ink on Compared the tip of no. my dick and rub wait, it on no, a piece wait, of paper, think about that's no, what I'm getting. Think about it. That's now literally I think what about I'm getting. It. Now that I think about it. How, this is how my debunk you right here. This is how my debunk you. Because me, you had this conversation at work. And Come we on. compared. We compared, we compared DBZ to other shows I was airing back in that day. Yeah, we and did. the show was ass. But I'm not right sitting there. here saying that DBZ was good. I'm just saying that it was the only thing that could be classified as a standard because everything else was kind of cheese, you know? All right, then. All right. But then. even so, just those big, thick black lines, man, it's not appealing. You could just do better. All right, go go watch the other shows back in the 80s and 90s. Let's see you have fun with those. I'm going to find something. I will find something that was better. You couldn't find on DBZ. Then you're not going to find it now. I will. You didn't find it. There's, there's find definitely it some underground shit we don't know about. Yeah, some yeah. underground shit. Hey, it counts. If it's from that time frame, it counts. Hey, uh, until until the all shows is on the Shonen Jump cover for ten straight years, don't add us. Do not add that us. Just, that's just sad on Shonen Jump. But I don't Jump's even part. watch Shonen Jump anymore. I rarely yeah. watch Shonen anymore. It's it's all the thing is rewrite from us, but uh, it's all right. It's all right. Though. It's all right. We're gonna so, shake look, back. We're gonna shake back save, next year. We're gonna save that. Back. Save that for when we're reviewing some Kai, all right? All right, we will, we will. <laughs> so look, everybody, be sure to use our codes at checkout. It's Andy Mag over at altisubs.com and tokyotunes.com, baby. The best anime fitness gear in the game. Get you some Gear 5 Luffy workout shorts. Get you some Baki workout shorts. Get you little keychains. They got a bunch of crazy shit. So bro, I think check it that was- out. I think it's like if you buy if you buy two or one shorts, I forgot what it was. You get like a, a free kunai, I think. Yeah. Thank so go over mean. there and check that out. TokyoTunes.com. Code Animag will get you 15% off of your entire purchase. Mm-hmm. And we hope you guys enjoyed. And until the next ah, time, so... remember to <laughs> take it easy and so long, everybody. Sayonara. Thank the fucking God. <laughs> it's finally over, boys. <laughs> Deuces, oozes. Thank you for listening. Be sure to visit our website at www.animag.org. See you next time. <laughs>